Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this glitch reveal in After Effects. You can use it for any kind of text or logo, whatever you want. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our text. So let's call this one text as all things will remain same. I'll select the text tool and just type whatever text you want. I'm going to type mark and let me just quickly change this color to white. So I'm using this Norwester font, but again, it's completely up to you. you can use whatever you want. Let's align it to the center using the align panel. Again, if you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. After that, let's go to the main composition and I'm going to quickly drag our text. I'm going to create a bunch of different copies of it. So I'm going to select this layer, press control D number of times to create like 10 to 15 copies like this. Now we're going to select the top layer and I'm going to select the shape tool. And we are going to just create a random mask on all of these layers. So just ra randomly select and just start marking out a couple of areas like this. And you don't have to be precise, just do it randomly however you want. You can have some long, some short and something like that. Just keep on doing this until the full text is covered. So now we can select all of these layers. And if I hide them, you can see that we have a couple of these areas which are not covered. So we can just simply cover them as well. So let's select this and I'm going to create one over here and now let's select this and I'm going to enable this and let's create one over here. Now we have almost covered everything. We can probably delete last these last two layers like that. Now we have our text. Now I'm going to select everything by pressing control A. Let's press U to collapse everything. Now let's go to somewhere around one second and I'm going to select everything. Let's press P for position. Let's add a keyframe. Let's go to the very beginning and we're going to just randomly move them here and there. So I'm going to select this part and before we do that, let's do one more thing. I'm going to move all of their anchor points to their center. So let's go back to the one second mark and I'm going to select everything. Now hold down the control key or command key on Mac and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now you can see that all of these anchor points are in the center. Now let's go back to the very beginning and we're going to move these layers to wherever we want. Let's move this one to this side and we can probably move this to the top. Just keep on doing this until all of these layers are outside this frame. So there you go. Now we have moved all of these layers. Now I'm going to select all the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Now we can go to the graph and if a graph looks different, then make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now I'm going to select all of these points and I'm going to just quickly zoom in and we're going to change the curves to look something like that. Now if I play back, you can see that all of these points are coming in at once. Now we can add some randomness to them. So all you have to do is just randomly move all of these layers a little bit ahead here and there to add some delay to a couple of these layers like that. So now if I play back, you can see that all of these layers are coming in and we have our text at the end. Perfect. Now we can select all of these layers and right click, go to pre-compose and I'm going to call this one animation. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So we have our shape. Now in order to add some RGB distortion, we can do a couple of things. So I'm going to select this and on this one, we are going to apply shift channels. Let's drag it over here and I'm going to select this press control D three times. So I'm going to select the bottom one and I'm going to just leave the red on red and I'm going to turn off all of these green and blue. Now select the second one on this one. We're going to turn off the red and we're going to leave the green enable. Now on the top one, we are going to just turn off all of these at the top and we are going to leave the blue as it is. Now we can select all of them and under the modes, I'm going to change them to add. Now you can see that we have our original color back. Now we can probably zoom in and if I offset these layers like a couple of frames ahead, you can see that we have this very nice RGB distortion like that. Now we can do a couple of things to really make this stand out. So first is we can add some glow. So right click new adjustment layer and let's place on top of everything. Now before adding glow, we can do one more thing. We can add time displacement effect. Let's search for time displacement and just drag it over here. Now I'm going to leave everything as it is. I'm going to just play around with the displacement over here. And we're going to just set this to something like 0.4. And now if I play back, you can see that we have this very nice distortion, which adds more glitch to our scene like that. 
So if you want, you can play around with this value. You can just lower this down however you want. It's completely up to you. Just play around with this to make this look however you want. So you can see that with all of these iterations, you can have a bunch of different looks. Like that. So in this way, you can create these kind of animations and you can apply glow on top of this. Just drag it over here and just play around with a couple of these values. There you go. Now we have added some really nice glow. So if I play back, you can see we have our animation. And the best thing is that you can just change whatever you want. All you have to do is just go inside the text com and here you can drag your logo. You can also rewrite whatever you want. And if I go back, you can see that all of these will be already applied and we have our final text. Now you might have to tweak a couple of these. So if I go back, you can see that we have a couple of these edges which are not clear so somewhere around here all you have to do is just simply select them and just play around with the mask to make them completely visible like that so we have one over here and i'm going to just extend it so that the edge is visible now if i go back you can see that we have our animation and everything is already applied so in this way you can create these kind of glitchy text reveal or logo reveal whatever you want all this without using any third party plugin. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.